Now stand on your feet. I'm about to minister by the Spirit of God. Any case mentioned, fire will locate it. If that same spirit, just remain sensitive in the spirit, please. Remain very, very sensitive. To some degree, has taught me how this works. There are people that will say, Lord, my faith is released. If my case is mentioned, Satan, you have lost. I don't know you by name, but Holy Spirit, locate them. Now I decree that individual with lump in their left breast, if that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, somebody has been having uncontrollable blood flow, he stopped right now. If that same spirit, all right, partial deafness in the right ear, that ear has popped open, right? I'm talking to people online, talking to people in the overflows, talking to people on ground. Thank you, Lord. That spinal injury, pain on your back region, is healed in the name of Jesus. If that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, an impotent man is being healed now. If that same spirit, that's, that's all. That's all he told me. If that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit will quicken, quicken, quicken your mortal bodies. Eyes are being healed in the name of Jesus. Every eye problem. I said every. The Bible says about Jesus that he healed them all. He said, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all. Our size here can't threaten him. That there are many people who need his touch here can't threaten him. He said he healed them all. His virtue doesn't end. It knows no limit. It can reach a million people at the same time. So just position yourself. Every heart problem. Your case, you are shocked. Your case is mentioned. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I believe we have medical practitioners here. Everyone that has struggled with high blood pressure. Okay, Lord, I'll mention. It's very strange. God said even a voice that seems to have been lost, I'm restoring back. Now that individual that heard that testimony of a blotted person that got deflated, I've heard it. I've seen a bit just small of it, but I've heard where people actually hold their trousers and say, I came, this trouser was tight, now it's free. <laughs> if it bothers you, it bothers him, for we have not a high priest that is not touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Thank you, Lord. That right eye is being healed. Just what you've had a problem, cataracts is being healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody has struggled with digestion. I don't know the medical name. I didn't go to medical school. They were explaining to us, you've struggled with digestion. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Diabetes is healed right now. In the name of Jesus. listen communicate in your spirit somebody is saying today this thing must end today this thing quietness all over the room the fire is consuming certain things Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Surgeries are taking place. Allow him to do it.
for the Lord will do a walk. <laughs> I will walk a walk in your days. But if we were told you, you will not believe. Corrective surgeries are going on now. <laughs> Somebody has had speech impediment, you are healed. You don't need to shout, just let him walk. Every form of deformity. Yes, Lord, I will say it. Every oppression of the enemy. They created oppression. It's over. Hmm. Goeta is disappearing. It's melting. Somebody is just regaining their sense of smell. Wombs have been given. They told you you couldn't have children. Just watch. Every form of pain is living. There's somebody here, you'll be shocked, will hear the testimony. You came in here with a fractured bone. If you came here with any crutches or wheelchair, you are going to walk today. Just, and I know this Jesus. All I need you to do is to vow that you will not give anyone the glory. God can use anybody. One thing I know about him is that he will not share his glory. There are things I hear I know I had no hand in it. Skin disease is being healed. That boil on your body, you just see it disappear. Somebody has had a lump on their hand, a lump, visible lump. You will check it, you discover it's gone. HIV is being healed. In the name of Jesus. Someone's hole in the tooth is being filled. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I vow not even in my hotel room will I take the glory. How will I take the glory for what you did, you are doing, and will continue to do? I am a beneficiary of your healing. When I was sick, I couldn't heal myself. So how can I now claim that I'm well, that I did anything. Lord, do things that even me will know that it is you. Major and minor illnesses have been taken out. Many of you will have to go and do your checkup. You will send the testimony that this happened on the final night. Now begin to do what you couldn't do. Check for the pain. You won't find it again. Check for the lungs. Close that ear that you had a challenge with. You will hear clearly from the other one. You see you can hear very, very clearly. Heart palpitation is gone in the name of Jesus. There is a sweet anointing. Don't sing, just. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come in the burdens you have carried for me. 
Those pains on your knees, you can't find them again. Just bear. There is a sweet calmness. I know If that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, he will make alive every challenge, every challenge with any organ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyone's organ. Listen, there's someone who is booked for a surgery. But all the symptoms that you had that made them tell you a surgery is needed, you can't find one. <laughs> there is a superior report to your doctor's report. For who had believed our report and unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. Fibroids, I command you to melt. Someone will check visibly where you had that bloating, you won't find it again. Hemorrhoid, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed. So many, most sicknesses are oppressions. But there's a light that shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There's someone here you've had a challenge in your health that cannot be explained for 10 years. And you heard the prophecy 10 months a decade, but God said to tell you that 10 years ends now. It's not 10 months. And on a certain day when Jesus was preaching, the power of God was present to heal all that were sick. Place your hand finally where you had any sickness or disease. He said, you shall lay your hands on the sick. Now that your hands carry fire, you lay it on yourself. He said, and the sick shall recover. Now wherever your hands are placed, and by the way, miracles are happening in proxy. There are people catching miracles online. There are those who are standing in the gap for others. You will receive their testimony. Now, wherever your hand is placed, in the name that is above every other name, is at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee. Allergy just got healed. Every knee must bow. Wherever your hands are, I'm going to command whatever name it is called to bow because there is a name now whatever name that is called medically and there are some cases that cannot be named medically so they are named spiritually whatever name it is called there is a name that's above every other name someone's leg just got healed right leg that at the mention of the name of jesus every name hear this as long as it is named there is a name and now I submit to you that name that is above the name that that name is named. And in the name of Jesus, the Christ, I command that sickness, that pain, that disease. Somebody is getting healed of an hereditary sickness. I command that sickness, that pain, disease. Healed in the name of Jesus. It is done. Now begin to do what somebody's waist just got healed. Check your waist, it just got healed. God touched you. Listen, the God I know. Why do we ask people to share testimonies? Not to add to a record, no. But they will share. He's a jealous God. He won't share his glory with any man. Some of you, the moment you decide I will testify, you see that miracle take place. The reason why there is still a delay is you have the tendency to hide it. But God has touched you any kind of sickness healed you of any kind of sickness disease pain 
your case was mentioned and you check you say wow did he just go it's not because of any mighty man no it's because of the almighty god join me at the altar listen and let's give the glory to him this is a good place to end god touched you you said lord i need a healing i need a miracle symptoms have disappeared pains have disappeared lumps have disappeared your eyes i couldn't see clearly can now see your hearing is restored whatever it is forget the protocol come out and give jesus the glory from the overflow from downstairs from everywhere join us right now as we give jesus all the glory just come hear me there are workers too that god healed when you were asking god for healing you forgot you were a worker now that he has healed you return the glory to him i'm waiting for you quickly come ghana god still does miracles we heard bishop say that and he has done mighty things here tonight come out very quickly and we'll take the testimony and return all the glory to him there are some of you still wondering should i go should i not go don't play with him god touched you now somebody say how do i know check yourself do what you couldn't do before and then you discover that you have been here quickly come out more people are coming more people are responding can i have officials please attend to them where's the medical doctor okay she's a doctor he's a doctor any other doctor so that we can get all this there's nothing jesus mentioned if it was mentioned is because you're either here or online place the link now if you're online jesus touched you put the link please our team that came all right make sure this is online by now i think you should blank the screen blank the screen so that they can see it online blank the screen yes share your testimony now with us let us know what jesus did i hope somebody at the back end can harvest some of those testimonies for us so that we we'll give jesus all the good. more people are coming from the galleries quickly come quickly come quick 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 let's return the glory to jesus tonight then we end this meeting it was supposed to be three days it's in two days but those that do wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength give me wind under my wings give me soaring give me wind under my wings I pray a child just got healed mother check it Give me wings under my wings. Keep me soaring. Keep me soaring till the glorious day. More people, please come quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, if we have some, can we just take? Who's going to help us? Yes. Please give her some volume. And doctors, let me quickly tell you this. In all our meetings, we tell people, the reason why we call doctors is check them medically. Somebody will say headache, but headache is different from migraine. It's only a doctor that knows the difference. Someone say, I was feeling something like this. When you hear the name, it will help you appreciate God. What we call normal are mostly abnormal things. So please, doctor, put life into the testimony so we know how to celebrate Jesus. Okay, so our sister is testifying. Of Come on! Please thank God! Another one in all day! Oh. happening <laughs> come 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 let's receive more testimonies are you just watching doesn't our God deserve the praise are you okay that every cycle is broken in the name of Jesus which kind of mic is this 
I'm grateful that a repeated cycle is broken because yesterday I told um, Bishop that last year I was in admission. Um, anytime I'm about to travel, it happens that I'll begin to feel the signs and I was admitted, they said this were signs of mild heart attack. They told you that? Yes, it was signs of mild heart attack and then I came in time or else they would have lost me. And they still did every body check and they couldn't find any cause in my body, but all the symptoms show that. Mm -hmm. And then this year, I'm about to prepare to travel, I have about six weeks to go, and the signs that are coming, I knew I said, Jesus, the signs that are coming back. So this, just since yesterday and this morning, and today, when I was here, I was feeling the sharp pain. It just strikes like this. It will begin to go into my mind, my brain, into my head. It will come back all over until it has, it's just um, becomes uncontrollable. And then I'll be admitted again. But I can't feel the pain anymore. Can't feel the pain anymore. Is that how you celebrate in Ghana? Come. I need a woman. Come, 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 come. Come now, come. Lift up your hands. Jesus, I decree every satanic cycle is broken in the name of Jesus. Hold that, hold that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's take some more. Evangelist, there's a powerful testimony here. Let's hear it. Our brother for about a week now has been suffering this severe sore throat and he couldn't even speak. But tonight, right after the ministration... Hold on, did you hear when Jesus said that? That someone... You see, when we hear this testimony, that means even he is concerned about sore throat. It affected, I, I saw it, I heard it. Not that the person is dumb, no. But has had the challenge speaking. See him. Can you speak now? Can you shout? Shout now. Hallelujah. You couldn't do that before. Are you just watching Give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Let's take more. No, it's okay. Let's take more. Let's take more. Daddy, there is... Please, quickly. It's working. Daddy, there is another powerful testimony here. Yes. So, um, our brother here is a known hypertensive. He was diagnosed with hypertension um, last year, November. And um, according to him, he has been experiencing palpitation for over five months now. But right now, when the administration was going on, now the palpitation has ceased. So, he believes he's been... You see, now this one... I would always advise if you have a medical boot, you go do his blood pressure, come back. We had a service like that where we took live blood pressure on camera in Maryland and showed it to the world. I think that blood pressure reading was about 116 or 118. In the service, we have danced to Everything came down. There is nothing, hear me, there is nothing that happens as much as confirming a testimony. So a testimony like this, go to the booth, let them bring your life BP readings and then we can dance. Amen. But all the symptoms are gone. Give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a hand. Let's take the other one. Pastor, this gentleman has not been able to bend properly for the last six to seven months. Why? He says there's an extreme pain in his back on the left, on the right hand side. Yes. He went to the doctor. They can't find anything wrong with him. But he said in the service, whilst we were praying, the Lord touched him and he is healed and he can bend. No more pain. Yeah, bend. No more pain. No more pain. Ghana celebrate the King of Kings. I need us to. We, we need to double up, double up, double up. Quick. Let's go. So our brother here yesterday, he sustained an accident while he was riding a motorbike and the left leg was swollen, was very painful, he couldn't walk on it, he came with the support. But after the, the prayer and the ministration, the swelling has reduced. Hold on, which walk. leg? Left leg? The left leg, yes. Where is the support he came with? He, he said he came with the office friends. His friends brought him. His friends brought him. He said he couldn't work well, but he came with his friends. Okay. Now, and now the, you can't... the swelling has wow. come down. He's able to work well. Are you sure? He can't bend it initially. Okay. 
can testify. Who is it? I have my office colleague here. They are here. That they can, can testify. testify. I can't work. Where are, the Where are they? Where are they? Charles. Charles. Charlie, come. Where is Charles? Where is he? I have form in my uh, bag. I, I'm supposed to go to hospital tomorrow. So the form is in my bag. Charlie, are you the one? Are you sure? Okay, let's see you run. Let's see you run. Run. Are you just watching the king is out of pray? Give me a song. She overturns my, my life. life around. He turns my life around. He gets away when there is no way. Yes, please. I want some of you to help so we can go quickly, so we can pile them together. So if it's a similar case, we'll quickly do it. All right, yes, yes, please. Pastor, he has extreme short sightedness. He can't see, meaning he can't see anything. The power of the Holy Ghost. When uh, the man of God was starting the ministry, he said that to put... Uh, his hand on the sorry my English uh, yes no we understand so put your hand on your eyes yeah then I what put happened my eyes on the uh, my eye my hand on the eyes and suddenly when I open it I couldn't see far now you can see now you can see can are you sure see. yes sir so what couldn't he see before describe to me so you can't see far away right so you can't see the screen can you see the screen what does the screen say Share your testimony. All right. Look at this. Four, five, one, two. Give the King of Kings a praise. All right, let's take more. Quick. Yes. Severe waist pain for how long? Yes, she has been experiencing severe waist pain for four years. Four years. Um, according to her, when she was even coming to the service, she couldn't even walk properly. But right now, after the administration, the pain is gone. Pain and gone? And then, um, what she said, they even did an x-ray, but the report was normal. But even despite the medications and other things that were um, given her, um, she was still not seeing any better improvement. But right after the administration, no pain, the pain is No gone. pain. Are you sure about that? Run down this way. Let's see you run. Run. Come on. No pain. Give the king of kings a praise. No. Tie them together, please. Let's go. Odari has been addicted to porn and masturbation. And in the course of the world, God delivered him totally to the glory of totally. God. Totally. That's a mighty, mighty deliverance. Your case was mentioned. Come on. Let's... There's a powerful testimony here of our brother. He said he woke up yesterday night with a Can you please, our sister is testifying of being healed of... Do you want me to play the drums tonight? Because I do that too. Give me hot, hot, give me a song, come on. Yahweh, Yahweh. As fast as possible. I give you five minutes to finish. Quick, quick, quick. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. This young lady says that every time she can hear, every second, she can hear demons speaking to her, telling her to do certain things. But I'm wearing them. Everything that I do, they will tell me you are in the washroom, you are doing this. I'm married to you. I could see pictures of slaves. 
I went insane for a while, but I was healed, but I was still healing. She went insane for a while. She was hearing voices, and after she came for a service, she said that she was saved, but then she had, she's been having spiritual attacks, and then as she's in service, what happened to you? I heard a voice say, hold your yes like this. Don't leave it. And he told me, the consuming fire is burning me. <laughs> burning me. Lift your hands. Stand behind that. Now consuming fire. Touch in the name of Jesus. Next one. Come on. Pastor, this... Give the King of Kings the praise. No! no! Let's go. Yes. This brother entered the service with severe stomach pain. As we were ministering, and you said we should lay our hands on any part of our body when there's yes. a problem. He did that, and right after the prayer, the pain disappeared. Disappeared. Set free to the Hallelujah. Body. Give me quick, 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 quick. That's why he has been having sore throat for the past one year. Yes. To the point that she can't sing on a high pitch. But now God has delivered her, and she can sing. Can you sing? To the glory Let's of God. hear you. watching oh. Abbe come 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 lay hands on her there's an anointing God. Are you seeing this? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pastor, our sister yes. has been suffering from pain in the neck and yep. the back for the past one year. But after the prayers, the pain has ceased. Disappear. Completely. Give Jesus praise. Come on. Next one. Our dear sister has been suffering from 13 years of severe uh, menstrual pain. But wow. tonight, she has just Is been healed gone? by the power of God. Give the King of Kings a praise. Come on. Our sister has been healed from a back pain right now in the name of Give Jesus. Give the King of Kings a praise. Yes. Uh, mommy has been healed of back pain right now. For how long? How long? For, for two, two years. years. Give the King of Kings a praise. Let's go. He has been experiencing a, a rashes. It's a type of an allergic reaction. Whenever he scratches, the rashes will appear. But right now, with, with all the heat, the jumping and everything, he scratches, there's no... Give the king there. of kings a praise. Thank you, Lord. Doesn't God deserve all the glory? Oh. Yes. Elizabeth said, came in severe abdominal pain. And in the course of the war, God healed her. To the point My that God. our friend we asked her, where is your draw? Well, God has delivered her. The pain has vanished. Stand so the on Lord your God. feet in Ghana. Oh. Give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Yo. You are bigger than what people say. Say, 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 say you are. 